Yes, my people, bless up, bless up. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks for all the support, one and all. To all my new subscribers, thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so you won't miss an upload from me on the road to 5K, my people. And here we are going another one, you know, my people. So, you don't know about the whole pay hike and all of that. And, you know, seeing um, some news circulating a few days ago where the teachers came out and... You know, they have been having some discrepancies as it pertains to their pay raise. And, you know, some of them were getting even up to 1200 for the month in their accounts after, you know, negotiation. And they had settled for, you know, some amount of pay increase. Anyhow, with all this massive pay hike that was, you know, given to the parliamentarians and... The teacher coming out saying that you know it's not right you know they were part of the protest too and all of that so the minister of finance now mr nigel clark is arguing saying that you know the jamaican teachers association seems to be more interested in the media than you know wanting to come to the ministry of finance with their concerns about some you know abnormalities in their wage reform right Anyhow, so it says that the president, Lassandra Harrison, wrote to the ministry about incorrect salaries of scores of teachers, but to date there has been no response. And most of the teachers that are affected are the ones that have been serving for years, decades, from 25 to 45 years in the teaching sector. Um, they have turned a deaf ear and... You know, they could conclude that they really don't care. This is what the, the, the president of JTA had to say. However, you know, Clark spoke out and he said what he had to say and talking about, you know, they're only um, interested in speaking to um, the media. But him not easy. So if you can't get down to Uno, if the if the JTA wrote to them and cannot get any answers from them, then the, their last resort would have been to go to the media. So I don't understand where I come at my people. Uno, 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 uno understand where I said this so, or it makes sense for him to say that. When they have been reaching out to them and they might turn a deaf ear according to what um the president of the JTA had to say. He also quoted that I don't think that Lassandra Harrison has to date pick up any kind of correspondence with the Ministry of Finance. All she's out there doing is talking to the media. We are here and ready to engage on any anomalies that exist. And we have meetings set up to address some of the systematic issues. A teacher wrote to the Gleaner recently said that she received a net salary of $724 for the month of March. Can you imagine? The people then get them raised according to them, them 20%. And I get $724 in a them account. Because the system said that she was being overpaid. Wow. So uh, when the system pick up, she get overpaid. Them need to work on them systems there. Where them have were set in place where they um, generate people's salary. Big and serious. The guidance counselor who teaches at the secondary level said that she thought that the matter would have been addressed following, you know, the month of March. But to her surprise, she was paid only $1,200 in April. So it still never sat out from March, April. And they're still having those issues in this month of May right now. She disclosed in a follow-up that 106000 was withdrawn from her salary to recoup the overpaid amount. All right, then, even if she don't get overpaid, why them not draw it little, little and draw everything one time? But Minister Nigel Clark said that the public sector compensation changes, which include the absorption of long-standing allowances in basic pay, is complicated and would involve some challenges. He said you don't make a transformational change like this. This is not a salary increase. This is a complete transformational change in the compensation framework 
for over 110,000 persons in the public sector. You don't make that kind of transformation without there being anomalies, especially with the complicated nature of the system that we're coming from. And he said that the problems are in the minority but will be addressed. While that is true to say that, you know, it's not a pay increase, so to speak, but it's a whole transformation of the system. Shouldn't they have been working on that from the get-go, seeing that they have been having a lot of negotiations and the JT have been declining, you know, their offer for quite some time? Um, shouldn't they have been working on that system to, to, to transform that system within that period of time? I don't know. When you comment on me, I don't know what you think about this one, my people. But me think, say them, should have they just resolve everything for the teachers then before them come and announce for them whole parliamentarian, um, you know, increase. Drop your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. On the road to 5K, run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anisabel Rose. Check out the YouTube store. Check out the membership of the channel. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member of the channel. Want to be a part of the notification shout out? You have to be the first to comment and like the video and you'll be featured in the notification shout out in the next video. Notification shout out goes to Dwight Gray. So big up yourself, Dwight Gray. Thanks for all the support, my people. Stay tuned for the next video. Big up.